Hi, this is Joe Spaulding. Um, I was approached once again by a reporter from a major paper last week asking for quotes about tired lies by members of council trying to chill my free speech with absurd distractions. Going on the record with false claims about me because you don't think Ann Arbor should have to pull its weight on climate change and ending segregation will not go the way you hope it does. Councilmember Rem Lowey made an attempt at culturally appropriating a negative racial stereotype for political purposes. This is grotesque, but it is a distraction from the real debate about the housing crisis. Councilmember Rem Lowey, you're not black. You don't get to use the pain of black people as a shield against accountability. I keep detailed records. You can bet your restaurant any reporter asking me for a quote gets links to screen caps and video clips. No professional reporter is gonna commit libel on behalf of a city council member who is trying to distract from the gas they're throwing on the housing crisis. Council member Ram Lowey discredits himself in the view of reporters, and this is relevant here because he also discredits the city council when he does this. He isn't the only one. I speak in front of dozens of councils all over, only in Ann Arbor have council members conspired to get me fired, discredited, silenced, sued, and even arrested. Council member Hainer, I have a veritable buffet of quotes and videos of abhorrent and belligerent behavior of Ann Arbor council members to feed members of the press. I'm not being paid to hold you accountable. It is the right thing to do. I'm not being paid to fight segregation everywhere I find it. I am compelled, and I do it because I'm good at it. Telling reporters I am paid is defamation. Doing it together is civil conspiracy. The Michigan Constitution begins with all political power is inherent in the people. The city of Ann Arbor derives authority from the Michigan Constitution, which in turn is empowered by the Constitution and all Michiganders. You all need to hold yourselves accountable at the level you expect servants of the Constitution like U.S. Senators. When it comes to me, let me make the valuable professional advice extremely clear. When you speak to the press, stick to the issues and keep my name out of your mouth. Thank you.